Hey guys, today we are unboxing the September 2019 Keto Crate. Let's get right to it. I can already see, now I don't know if this is any indication of what's inside, but there appears to be like a oil spot on the box. Can you see that? I don't know if that happened in transit or if there's like a leaking situation going on in here. I have no idea. So let's open it up and find out. All right, first is our invitation to the Crate Club party. I will RSVP one day, not today. Already I'm seeing some bars. Okay, we have the IQ bar. I've never had one of these before, so I'm excited that it's included in the Keto Crate. However, this is lemon blueberry, so I am not very excited about that. I'm not too into fruit flavored things. I will say I've been giving them a try lately, especially when I receive them for free in the Keto Crate, and they're not bad. I'm just always gonna be like a chocolate, peanut butter, caramel type person. I'll always lean that way versus like a lemon, lemon poppy seed, you know, et cetera. Comment down below, team chocolate peanut butter, team fruity whatever. Okay, so six brain nutrients, okay. Uh, 11 grams of plant protein, one gram total sugar, four grams net carbs. It is keto, paleo friendly, and vegan. One bar is 170 calories, 10 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, nine fiber, oh, and four allulose. I'm like, where are they getting these numbers? So four net carbs and 11 grams of Protein. So the first ingredient is almonds, and then we go straight to soluble tapioca fiber, pea protein, and allulose. Oh, and then it says protein crisps. So maybe there's like a crispy situation going on in there. That is exciting. Another bar, yeah, which we might have found the culprit. Yep, 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 yep. That is it. It is the MCT bar, the cocoa bar. Like when it gets to the point where these bars are so oily that like you can't even ship them without them going nuts, like reconsider, that's all I'm saying. Keto friendly, two grams of net carbs, five grams of MCT. There's probably zero grams of MCT in this now because it done licked all over my keto crate. Uh, 10 grams of protein. I think I've had these before, but not recently enough to actually remember what it tastes like. 19 grams of fat, 12 total carbs. That's not too bad. 10 grams of fiber. So we have, yeah, organic almond butters, the first ingredient, and chicory root fiber is the second ingredient. That's what gets it down to two. I mean, I guess I'll just have to like separate this, maybe put it in a plastic baggie <laughs> before I put it with anything else. Oh, we have Ultima. That's also covered in MCT oil. Go Ultima, Replenisher. These are just electrolyte mixes. Y'all know what I drink for elect electrolytes. So, I mean, plus I really just don't like the flavor of these. I have really tried because I really like that they use better sweeteners than Zip Fizz does. They just plain do, but they don't taste as good. So I'm like, what's the point, you know? Um, but I will definitely use these. Raspberry and lemon are the two samples in here and they are the only flavors that I, I really liked. The other ones I just don't, they're just not as flavorful as Zip Fizz. I mean, but like still a great option if you're like looking for one with cleaner sweeteners. Like Ultima is pretty legit. Oh man, Curly Girls Candy. Now this stuff, I'm gonna do a blood glucose test on this because this is straight up candy right here. Chocolate caramel, oh my gosh. Yeah, like I had this stuff at KetoCon. It is amazing. It says Maltitol free. Let's see, for this whole container, which they have two servings per container, but I mean, I'm eating this whole thing. Although my teeth might fall out before I do, cause I mean, it seems pretty dense and chewy. Um, but for this whole container, it's 14 grams of fat, 18 grams of total carbs, five of fiber, which takes us down to 13. Includes eight grams of added sugar. What the hell? Sorry. Oh, heavy cream, which is heavy cream and carrageenan. Oh, I don't know. Sweetener blend, tagatose, erythritol, 100% cocoa baking bar, IMO syrup. Mmm. I don't know about this one, guys. I mean, I felt good about that, but th that's just a whole bunch of sugar. This is just eight grams of added sugar. Like, I can't, I can't do that. Like, that's a gall darn shame, cause like, I would have really liked that, but I don't think I can do that. Next, we have some intact cheese crisps, or these like little moon cheeses. Yeah, these are like, ooh, but it says cheese lover spicy, and you know I love cheese and I love spice. So these are like little cheese nuggets. If you've ever had moon cheese, the, the texture is very similar. So this is just a great snack to have. There are two servings per container, but once again, I'm eating this whole container as a snack. 
for this whole container, 160 calories, 12 grams of fat, four grams of total carbs and net carbs, uh, and then uh, 10 grams of protein. So this is pretty classic, pretty good. Brooklyn Biltong lemon pepper, ugh, grass fed. See, I'm not a lemon pepper either. Like I can't do lemon pepper wings. I don't really like chicken wings to begin with, but like I can't eat citrus flavored anything. No, no sugar, air dried beef, better than jerky. I'll be the judge of that. There's two servings per container. It's 180 calories, five grams of fat, four total carbs and four net carbs. Uh, and then 14 grams of protein. The ingredients are just grass-fed beef, lemon juice from concentrate, lemon oil, apple cider vinegar, onion powder, black pepper, salt, celery juice powder. Like that just sounds too citrusy. Like I am not here for that. You guys, I'm going to do the great meat stick away. Like, and I will include this in there. So mark my words, within the next couple weeks, the meat stick away is coming. Okay, and then we have, uh, Scooter? I'm gonna say Scooter because it sounds fun. Scudder, maybe? I'm gonna go with Scooter. Sea salt, uh, roasted, dry roasted pumpkin seeds. I mean, this is packed to the brim. Way to go, Scooter. Serving size 45 grams. It says serving per container vary. Well, how many grams is this thing? 140 grams. Yeah, so there are about three servings, which I could totally see that because, like I said, this thing is packed. Okay, next. Oh, geez. Okay, surefire winner here. High key mini chocolate chip cookies. You guys, like, if they name the company this for this reason, like, they get so many swag points, but these are high key, my favorite prepackaged keto cookie. Like, these are so good. They taste like regular cookies. I mean, that could be the problem. Like, they are definitely an occasional treat, but I mean, no cooling effect. Crispy, crunchy, chocolatey, and this whole bag is First of all, there's two servings per container. No, I'm eating this whole thing. It would be 22 total carbs and four fiber and 14 erythritol. So it is four grams of net carbs for this whole bag. I mean, these are definitely for a day when I'm counting net carbs, you know, instead of total carbs. But I mean, these are delicious. I buy them with my own money. They're so good. Okay, porking good pork rinds. I've recently gotten into pork rinds lately. I'm very picky about what pork rinds I like. As of right now, only like one flavor of pork rinds and that is the hot and spicy <laughs> pork rinds from Meyer. But I will definitely see, I don't know if I'm a sea salt and vinegar sort of person, but I mean, I'll at least give these a try. I am venturing out, you know, into these pork rind streets here. Um, but this is good. I'm, I'm glad they included this because uh, I, I definitely want to try it. Okay, we have snacks better than good salted caramel veggie protein puffs. Would we say this is similar to a shrewd food? I don't know. I am excited that it is sweet. Uh, shrewd food does have some sweet flavors, but you know, they also have those cheese puffs. This is four grams of carbs, four grams of sugar. I mean, why, why? So one serving per container, which is good. 110 calories, three and a half grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and that is four grams of sugar, uh, and 16 grams of protein. Let's see, milk protein isolate seasonings. Number one ingredient, cane sugar. Okay, so Keto Crate, you're telling me that you wanna tout that this thing is maltitol free, but like you straight up have an ingredient with cane sugar in it? Like, I'm confused. I'm confused this month. Brown sugar, natural flavors, like, Okay guys, I am a if it fits your macro sort of person, okay? I am not an ingredient snob, you know, but there are some things that I, I try to avoid. Straight up sugar is one of them. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I'll keep this as a travel snack. I'll try it at least, but like, you know, it's like we're trading one evil for another. Like, oh, we're maltitol free, but like we're gonna straight up put sugar in here, which does have a high glycemic response anyway. Like, I'm not impressed. Finally, we have a fat bar, fat with two T's. Okay, swag, I see what you're doing there. Okay, this is very soft. It is caramel and sea salt, two grams of net carbs, keto, non-GMO, zero added sweeteners. Serving size is one bar, 141 calories, 11 grams of fat, 12 total carbs, 10 grams of fiber, of course, so that makes it two net carbs and 2.7 grams of protein. All right, with these decimals, okay? Ingredients, chicory extract, almonds, macadamia nuts, pecan nuts. Hmm, is that superfluous? Like, is that redundant? Pecan nuts? Like, pecans? Like, walnut nuts? 
Like almond nuts? Do they put, no, see they put almonds. And then, okay, macadamia nuts, but why pecan nuts? That is interesting to me. Well, I've never heard of this and I've never seen it. So if anything, I'm, I'm glad to be exposed to it and perhaps I will try it. All right, and that's all that we have in the keto crate for this month. Not gonna lie, you guys, uh, this month was kind of a stinker. Just a bunch of items with some straight up whack ingredients. Items that leaked all over the place. Like, you know, it's a hit and miss. And don't get me wrong, there are some great things in here that I'm excited to try. And even though a lot of the stuff is questionable, I'm glad that I know it exists, even if it's just to know what to avoid. So like, I mean, I'm one of those people that always sees the, the positive in anything, but like a lot of the stuff is not gonna be eaten. But that's what happens when you get a snack box, subscription box, sometimes they're hit or misses. This was a miss this month for me. Comment down below, what do you think about the items in the keto crate? What are your thoughts on like the straight up sugar that's in here, uh, as well as is there a product that you've tried that you're excited to try? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.